Alan, let's talk about surveillance. Here it is atrocious, most everywhere. How about in Canada? It's the same laws everywhere, yes. And uh, what do you think they're... We know that they're trying to influence our behavior by, even if they're not actually watching us, making us feel that we are being right. watched. That's the big thing. Yeah. How does this fit into the new world order in a grand scale? I mean, will that make a difference in whether we accept this nonsense or not? It does. Uh, we're, they're allocating money all the time, more funding. They're already monitoring uh, everything on the Internet. I know they're monitoring a lot of people's mails, including my own. Uh, that's your paper mail. And um, they eventually want to put uh, tracking chips in the public. That this is admitted as major media. They'll be tracked by cell phones all around cities, wherever you go, and they'll know where you are at, at every moment. Right. So you see, to get a totalitarian system working, everyone must be predictable. And they gather all information on you, what associations you belong to, who you meet with. And they're even, they're even admitted in the paper now they're doing it through your cell phones. That's true. Find where you go, your local library club or, mm -hmm. or something like that. Then they trace every member of that club to see if they have similar um, viewpoints, um, interests and in books, that type of thing. You know, Alan, I mean to cut you off here, but actually just last week, somebody from Homeland Security in this country said, you know, we don't need to... Uh, to RFID chip everybody because 97% of the population has a cell phone. And mm -hmm. with that GPS tracking in it, they do know where you are any minute, any second of the day. In your DVD that I just finished watching, Alan, you talk about how political correctness is one of the devices to use. Tell me about that. It's an amazing way. We, we, we know for a fact that uh, Zygmunt Brzezinski and Bertrand Russell all talked about a new method coming in that would control the minds of the public, bring them to what they thought was their own conclusions. But in reality, it was all being put to them through osmosis, through propaganda carefully worked out. Uh, that's all part of it. Most folk are arriving at conclusions by listening to experts that are provided uh, they'll fight over what they think are their own opinions, but they, and they don't realize they have no real opinions of their own. We're already under a scientific control of, of mind control, uh, a whole matrix system. And that has reduced our tolerance for people because people will say, oh, those, those Muslims or whatever, and they know absolutely nothing about them, yes. but they use what they've heard, and, and it's just reduced tolerance. It's politically correct to be anti-Muslim, mm -hmm. and that reduces tolerance. We need to say goodnight. There's no doubt about it. Again, the last remaining religion that has some kind of functioning society, we are dysfunctional now back here. Look at yeah. all the relationships around you. Everything is dysfunctional. The, the children are dysfunctional. The family units are gone. They've been under attack. Like they said, they'd have to destroy the family unit a and long time ago. And they're doing those, a good job of it. Those countries that still have the family unit are now must be destroyed. Their culture must be destroyed, and their religion must be destroyed, right. too. All right, Alan, we need to say goodnight to you. Thanks a lot for joining us on the program. Appreciate it. I know your website is uh, chuck full of information at cuttingthroughthematrix.com. Good, good night, Alan. Good night. All right. Coming up next week, we have an amazing guest from Beverly Hills, a Joseph... Uh, Lawrence. Or, or, or Larry, Joseph. Larry Joseph. Larry Joseph. Other way around. And it's the funny <laughs> side, the funny side, a rip-roaring funny side to what's happening coming up in the year 2012. Don't miss it. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. And remember, the truth is out there.